I think your uh, your dream for the Olympics uh, gets more realistic now. Huh? Uh, yeah, you know the uh, 6:24. I think I'm hoping is going to be a good enough time. But again, you never know until you go to Calgary or Salt Lake and then see what everyone else can do there. But I'm I'm confident that even when I go to those rinks, I can skate faster again. What's the qualification? Uh for New Zealand, what what do you have to skate? Uh, I have to skate 6:35 in the 5k, and I have to be inside the top 20. So at the moment, I've already achieved both of those. Uh, Mr. Dobbin, you're not only Shane's father; you're also his coach. Uh, what do you think of his switch from inline to ice? Uh, well, I think he's done a really good job at it, but we still got a lot to learn yet. It's, it's, it's a difficult change, actually. I thought it uh, would be a little bit easier than what it is. Technically, what what's the the most difficult thing for him to change? Uh, technically, I think it's the timing, the timing of the push. It's it's different on inline. Inline's got more slip, so y you don't need to be quite so technically perfect. But on the ice, you have to be. You have to be technically. You have to be good. What's what's the road now to Vancouver? Uh, now I have uh, Heronvane, Palmer, and then I skate uh, Amsterdam Marathon. And then I travel to Calgary and Salt Lake. Then I come back, I finish the marathon season. And then I think I go back to Salt Lake for training to prepare for the Olympics. Uh, middle of January, I think I'll go back to Salt Lake and do a little bit of altitude training and prepare on some fast ice. You still combine marathon and long track? Oh, definitely. I think, that, I think the marathons are uh, a good training. You know, you get 125 laps in your legs. I couldn't imagine myself skating 125 laps in training. So it's... Uh, it's very specific training. I think it's going to be. It's going to pay off with the 10k. You're going to Salt Lake in Calgary. Uh, you're going to train with Chad. Uh, I've asked Chad if, I, if we can train together. I think it'd be a nice uh, training group. I have good endurance. He has very good speed, obviously. Uh, he's uh, he's positive towards it. Training with Shane's going to be good because we we don't have a large group in Salt Lake City, and obviously um, he's he's having some difficulty finding a great training group to train with uh, here in in Holland. But uh, having Shane there in uh, Salt Lake City with us will be great. Yeah, uh, over the past uh, 15 years or so, uh, inline skating at the world championship level, I've uh, known Shane Dobbin for quite a while. So. Uh, you know, it's nice to see all these inline skaters coming out here and, uh, you know, starting to improve on a, on a daily basis and, uh, and get up and start battling with the top guy. So it's nice. Yeah, you know Chad from inline. Yeah, I know him for a long time now. Yeah. How's that, that you meet each other on ice now? Uh, it's kind of funny, actually. Uh, and again, with Pascal, Alexi and Tristan also in the, in the long track now, uh, it's it's a nice feeling to, to see people that you know and you've raced against for a long time and when they do well you're happy for them but also you're motivated to do well as well. It's a difficult sport, it's not a sport where you can just come out and not be in real good shape and then all of a sudden you know do well. It, it takes a lot of hard work to get to the level that those guys are at and uh, I think they're going to continue to prove. They're still pretty young, uh, mid-20s and uh, I think they've got a lot of room for improvement and they just need to remember that inline skating is their background and that's really important for us. We didn't grow up as the traditional speed skaters so at the end of the day they need to realize that their conditioning on the ice is because inline skating and they need to continue to use that as their advantage.